Hi, and welcome back to Today's Bird. My name is Joan Walsh, and I'm the Bertrand Chair of Ornithology at Mass Audubon. We're going to be talking about a bird today that I think many of you are going to be surprised to find out is a relative newcomer to the state. It joins the ranks of tufted titmouse, northern mockingbird, and Carolina wren with being a bird that expanded tremendously during the 1950s. But none of those birds walks the bird catwalk with as much style as the Northern Cardinal. Hi there, my name is Evan Sibley. Um, I'm a stage actor based in New York City, but I've recently been editing these videos and will be narrating many more of them uh, moving forward. Last week, I spoke to you about my favorite bird, the black-capped chickadee, and this week I have the pleasure to share some facts about the Northeast's most striking backyard bird, the Northern Cardinal. If every bird was a car, then chickadees would be Toyota Camrys, Hummingbirds would be Vespas, and the Cardinal would be a Ferrari convertible, in Cardinal Red, of course. At least that goes for the male Cardinal. In our footage, you can see both male and female Cardinals, and you'll notice that they're roughly the same shape and size. They're about twice as long as a sparrow, and they both have a distinctive crest that they can raise on the top of their head. But the female Cardinals are far less red. Female cardinals are gray-brown with the same black square over the front of their face and orange highlights on the wing and tail. And, as we discovered while filming this, they're much harder to get footage of. But, while these birds are a staple of Massachusetts backyard birding, it may come as a surprise to know that it didn't always used to be this way. Until the mid-1900s, this species was known as the Virginia cardinal and was found only in the southern United States. The bird was sought after as a cage bird for its bright color and distinctive song. They sound like a laser gun or a spaceship. I'm not kidding. That's real. They do. Now, when some people grew tired of their UFO-sounding bird, they released them far from their southern habitat. This, coupled with a rise in bird feeders, warming winters, and good habitat in rural and suburban areas, allowed the cardinal to spread rapidly through the state. The first confirmed breeding pair of cardinals in Massachusetts was in 1958 and only 10 years later, there was a confirmed breeding pair in every county, making it clear that this was not the Virginia Cardinal, but the Northern Cardinal. And finally, it may interest some of you to learn that many Cardinal pairs stay bonded year-round. They also collaborate on the nesting process more than some birds. Female Cardinals build the nest and then are fed by the males while they incubate the eggs. The males also bring in most of the food for the young once they've hatched. So. I hope I've shed some light on our bright red friends, and that the next time you see one, you look out for their futuristic song. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time. Well, thanks for joining us today on our session about Northern Cardinals. This was one of the hardest birds for us to get footage of in the yard, especially the female cardinal. So our challenge to you is to try and get a photograph or maybe a short film on your camera of a female northern cardinal and post it in the comments below. If that doesn't work for you, you can try doing a drawing. It's really one of the best ways to get to know any bird. And thanks so much for being with us. Have a good day.